We're gonna show you how to save rainwater fast and on the cheap, and we did it for $40.98 plus tax and less than five minutes. And uh, all of the description and the PDF will be available in the description below. And Omar will tell us exactly what we will need and how to do this. Yeah, to do this, you just need a couple of items, and that's the beauty of it. It's a really simple process. You just need a uh, aluminum screen like this, which you can get at your uh, local hardware store. You need some screen spline, and preferably the thickest kind. A 0.175 inch will be like the best one, actually. So this is, the, as you can see, fairly thick. We also need a uh, container for our ring. So this is what we use. We decided to find uh, the cheapest possible container, and it was, in fact, this 32-gallon trash can, which uh, was $15 and happens to service perfectly. And the last element that you'll need for uh, the ring collection bin is this, this uh, planting ring. And these are found at Home Depot for $15. And this will like, actually work perfectly with the 32 gallon bucket. So in grand total, $40 will get you a rain barrel. Yes, okay, so how do we do this? All right, well I'll just show you. It's a very simple process. It only takes a couple of minutes. And before you know it, you have a rain barrel. First, you wanna bring out your tools. You'll need a marker, some cutting device, and uh, your screen, of course, is what we're going to start off with. All right. So, you'll want to map out the, uh, the, uh, the pattern for uh, your screen. Actually, what you do is you put your planting ring on the screen, and you're going to want the screen to fill the inner diameter. So all you have to do is simply trace around the ring, and you want to give it some fat on each side. So I gave it about an inch, so that when I do put the spline in there, it has some room to work with. So I'll just... Go ahead and trace out. I sure hope that marker doesn't bleed on the table. But we have no, it won't hit the table at all. Yeah. And I guess the circle doesn't have to be perfect. No, not at all. So I have a, a template now. I have like my uh, pattern. I'm just gonna take my cutters and cut through the screen. As you can see, I'm just cutting the, the line that I mapped out. Now we're doing a screen to make sure that we don't get any mosquitoes in our um, rain collection bin. That's the worst thing you can get. There are ways to remedy it, but we just want to prevent it in the first place. Yeah, and uh, remember you were telling me that the aluminum screen is a good option because it doesn't rust? Yes, that's correct. So you want to look for materials that really uh, work for you in the long run. Now, uh, for you personally, you can go to the store and find a good alternative to any of these items. It's just about uh, being creative and making your project happen for the uh, least amount of money. A lot of times people like to jack up the price on items like this and uh, it's just unnecessary. So. What I'm going to do is insert the screen into the interior of this planting ring. As you can see, it fills the interior quite nicely. Now, I'm going to simply put my spline on the interior and make sure I seal this screen in place. Now, I have a PDF that we're putting on this video that shows you exactly uh, the dimensions you should use, the, uh, the procedure and everything. So for those of you that are familiar with putting screens onto uh, you know, a frame, a wooden frame, this is exactly the same process. I'm just going to grab, you can use uh, a roller, uh, a screwdriver, anything to push the spline into the gap here that's in the spline screen. So do that really quickly. As you can see, we have a mesh now, and uh, this is really good for keeping the mosquitoes away and keeping them out of your bin. So uh, that was a fairly, sh a fairly short process, very easy to do. Um, the only thing we have to do now is actually put this planting ring on top of the uh, 32 gallon container and the uh, dimensions just work perfectly. So it has a nice seal and it makes it removable as well. So I just put it on top like this. Oh wow, see how it fits really nicely? And there you go, you have a ring bit.
And just like that, I can remove this lid. And as you can see, there's plenty of water in here collected from the roof. And I can now use this water for the garden.